Well, well, the shop. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I think it's been two, maybe three weeks since I've done YouTube, and uh, I've done a little bit of Instagram here and there, but I mainly took a break from my sanity, and then a little break turned into a big break, which turned into a bunch of useless time being wasted, and uh, I'm still playing drums and all that, but man, it, it's time to get back and make some videos. I did make this, my left-handed knife. It's on ceramic detents. And I got this one, boom, it's a right-handed one. I think I'm gonna put this one up for sale. It's gonna be my first folder for sale. Yeah, it's come out real nice. I gotta do the bevels, which I'm gonna put that on. This will probably just be like a catch-up vlog, get me back in the action, so. I gotta bring the bevels up on these just a little bit. Yeah, I'm real happy with them so far. So I'm gonna just kinda get caught up and, and videotape everything. Now I'm gonna do the logos. Then I got another Dexter knife to make. Let's just get to it. So I'll put the website up in the cards. Is it this side or this side? It's been so long I forget. All my Amazon links and stuff like that are down in the description. All that good stuff. Do me a favor, subscribe, like, leave a comment. You know, let me know what you've been doing the last two or three weeks. All right, let's just get to it. Man, I gotta get my, uh, my, my camera shooting legs back. Cause on Instagram, I always play the music. But on YouTube, I can't play music. So that's why I write my own music. If you notice, these grind lines are a lot higher now. I'm about to start grinding, but I'll cut the music out. <laughs> All right. So what I did is I cut one side and then I flipped the belt over and I cut the other side. So both sides I'm cutting with the same edge. That way you get the same profile. It comes up the same way. But I'm about to, I'll explain that with the next knife. <laughs> I'll show you. This will be a quick grind. <laughs> I got the music in my headphones this time instead of blasting. <laughs> so what I do is I, I find one side of the belt that I like and then I flip the belt over that way. Usually the bevels turn out even. That's what I was trying to say on the first blade, but I left all the music on. <laughs> Here we go. Now here's the part you missed from the last one. We flip it over <laughs> and hope it works out. <laughs> the last one did, but I had to cut it out, so I have no proof. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'll put knife making 101 in, in case you're new here. I can't speak. It's like 12.30 a.m. I'll put the knife making 101 up in the cards so you can see. I, I show all the basics of this and how to grind and all that stuff. So, here we go.
is 52 100, so I'm gonna leave the grind lines just like that. Go clean it up and look, put these things back together and see what they look like. All right, woo, looking good. <laughs> I gotta say, I really like those grinds. Now, one big problem I gotta figure out when I carbonize these lock bars, I think I put too much on it because they lock up a little bit, but they slip. You know, you could. If you, if you pull the lock bar down, there's absolutely no, that's it hitting the, the stop pin. There's no play in it at all. But you know, you go like that and you can see it's wobbling on the lock bar. Both of them, same thing. You can see the, the lock bar, you know, going like that. So it's not catching. Now I could take it off the blade, but I'm a little scared to do that because if I take too much off the blade, then I ruin it. So I'm gonna start with, uh, Scotch Brite. I saw an old John Grismo uh, video where he did the carbonizing. He said he did all Scotch Brite, so I haven't done that part. So hopefully that'll help it. Let's get back to the grinder. Now that's one thing about folders: taking them apart and putting them together a hundred times. <laughs> Oof. Now on John Grismo's video, he says you don't want it to get too hot because then the detent will pop out. The detent's only right there, so. Here we go. All right, let's put that together and see how it works. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> First shot, it locks up. <laughs> All right, good to go. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna do the other one. Then I'm gonna black, black oxide it and uh, do the logos and all that. So <laughs> I guess back to the bench. The only reason I didn't put it together over here is because, you know, I'm getting better at putting it together and faster, but man, you still drop stuff and man, all, you know, all these little parts drop out and all that. Once again, we're at the logo stage. I actually had to buy some new logos because my other ones I just I either use too much or whatever. So I got some new ones. I use a blue lightning stencil. Just Google it, yeah. Ernie, I think's his name, or Bo or something. Anyway, I digress. Yeah, check him out. He's uh he's done all my stencils and logos. People are always ask, so guess it help to plug this thing in. <laughs> Now I've got videos on this. It's ACDC. It's real easy to build. It's a transformer, a wall wart, and a little bit of wiring, and uh, you have your own ACDC uh, power supply. It's off now, so I got my negative connected to the blade. I got my paper towel to dip it, and then boom. So it's on DC. Let's do it. <laughs> There we go, we're all burned in. AC, make it dark. A little Windex, window cleaner, let's turn this off. Penetrating oil. <laughs> Woo! So I went ahead and two-toned this one. The logo is still in there, right in there, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on the camera or not. I kind of like my logos hidden, but boom, two-toned up. Yeah, man, stone washed, all that good stuff. That's what I do love about 52-100. You know, I, I, I'm obsessed and love my Hamos, but 52-100, you get those nice, clean grind lines, and boom, you don't have to worry about mirror finishing it. Oh, well, unless you want to. I just like the real crisp grind lines and all that. Now, on this one, I asked Instagram what they thought. Should I leave this one like this? 
you know, or should I two tone it like this? I, man, I keep going back and forth which one I want to do. But, you know, you got those criss grind lines and I can just keep it like that. <laughs> and uh, call it, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> a guy uh, that I did a Dexter knife for last year asked me to make him another one, and he actually paid up front too, so that's going to be next. I'm, I'll probably cut out a few more of these and start working on these while I'm doing the Dexter knife, but just focus on the Dexter knife. And Another guy asked me about a custom knife, which... If you guys want me to make you custom knives and you got a design or something, I'll do it. But, you know, we'll, we'll work out details if you want that done. Anyway, I digress. I'm starting to ramble on. I think it's like uh, midnight or something. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you think about the two-tone and all that. Leave a comment below and tell me what you've been doing for the last couple of weeks or, you know, what's been going on or you got questions about knife making, any of that good stuff, or uh, you just want to tell me to stop flicking those damn knives, it's getting annoying. <laughs> All right. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff we tell you. I'll put my website up in the cards. I got links below with Amazon links, all that good stuff, all the tools I use. I got shirts. Well, I don't got shirts like this, but I got regular shirts on there on my website. I got a few knives for sale, all that good stuff. Woo! One more flick. <laughs> Let's see, I'll put uh, Knife Making 101 right here. I'll put the last series, Making a Skinner Knife, right here. Subscribers right here, and my website's right there. Hope you all are having a great day, and as always, take it easy.